Hi everyone, welcome back to Technomog, your go-to channel for all ServiceNow things. In today's tutorial, we will be diving into an essential aspect of ServiceNow development that is calling Serveflow from the client side. Yes, you have heard it right. We will be trying to call ServiceNow workflow from client script, subflow, subflow from the client script, okay? This can enhance the interactivity and efficiency of your application, so let's get started. And what's going in your mind is completely right, okay? So with this particular approach, there is a possibility that you can change, uh, you can replace the Glide X also, and I've did it for a lot of use cases in my project, okay? Firstly, let's quickly dive in what, uh, to define what a subflow is, okay? For the people who are not, who are new to the flow and subflow topics, okay? In ServiceNow, a subflow is a reusable workflow that can be invoked by flow or subflow, another subflow, and now we'll be, seeing how we can call it from the uh, client script also. It allows you to modularize your workflow, making them easier to manage and maintain. So calling a subflow from the client script can be particularly useful when, when you need to execute server-side logic in response to a user action without refreshing the web page. This method helps in providing a smoother user experience by minimizing the load time and interruptions. So for example, imagine you have a user interface where actions takes taken by your user, like submitting a form or clicking a button, need to trigger a specific back, backend process that are a part of subflow, okay? So typically this would require a round trip to the server, but with the, this approach, okay, we can streamline this process. Out. So without f wasting other further time, we'll just dive into the instance. This is my personal development instance, which is currently on Washington release. And today we'll be focusing on very use, a very easy use case, okay? And you can, extend the use case to uh, as per your project okay but i want to make it very easy so that everyone can relate to it so in today's use case what we'll be doing we'll be creating a subflow okay uh, which will be accepting a input as a user id sys id okay and it will return a manager and we can show that as an alert message who is the manager for that particular caller for the incident record i was like a valid use case right so what we'll do uh, I will just go to this top flow design. Okay. And we'll create a new flow. New subflow. Sorry, my bad. We'll give it now name. Subflow. Figure. Wrong. For action. When I talk about UI action, it will be client from client side only, okay? So I will just copy the same. We'll put it in the description. It's always good to have description and we'll start building the flow. So, okay, perfect. Now what we'll be doing, we'll be defining input and output. So for us, input will be the user society, right? So I will give user, user, this ID and we'll make it as string and we'll make it mandatory and in output we want manager right manager third message something like this and it should be also be a string okay but done this part is done now what do we want to do we want to look, look up on the record right so we will just go to action and we'll do lookup. Lookup record. And on which particular table? So it will be sys underscore user table. Where is that sys underscore user? <laughs> this user table. And the condition will be pretty simple. So we want to deal with the sys id only, right? So we can give sys id as this particular shit, or this particular sys id. It's not showing over here, okay? But if you do done, and if you reopen it out, it will reflect. And as you can see, this is a Washington feature. I'm just showing you that I don't have to save now. It's getting auto-saved. Perfect, right? I've covered one more topic. So um, this is done. Now you can play around it, okay? So if you want to add notification also, you can do that also. So for example, if I want to send notification directly from the client side, I'm just putting an add-on. I will not just go to 
show you on on a specific use case but i'm just just putting it out or we will take any random use case so password requires updating okay perfect and anything is fine um and now once everything is done we want an output right so how you can get the output you can go to flow logic and there will be an action called assign sub flow outputs so if you go over here you can click on add you can see the output which you have defined it can be multiple okay so manager manage and we can simply give the message over here the manager is i can simply go look up record user record what and we want manager right is manager 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 right manager and we want manager's name right we'll go with the name only but done we are done with the flow uh, now what we'll do we'll just publish it out okay publish and first of all before moving ahead we'll just test it out so i will go over here and i will just go to Use as a notice. This underscore user. What happened? Did I made some mistake? This user. Okay. We'll just take the oh uh, side of the table tutor only. Hope he has the manager, and we'll go to test. We'll just provide the sys ID. We'll run the test. and see if uh, there is nothing failing okay we can go to the logs and we can check everything got completed we we are interested in this and the output is the the manager is browsing up perfect so it's working as expected now before moving ahead right before calling it from the client script we have to do one trick we want we have to do some configuration okay if you go to this right uh, three dots over here you have to go to my security Client callable from here side, callable by client API. If you seek to all seek uh, tick over here, it will ask for ACL. But you don't know what ACL we have to call, right? So yeah, it will be one ACL across the platform. So I will just show you how to create. So for that, we will be just elevating the role. Let's elevate security admin update. I will just go to all ACL. Is that access controls? We'll click on new, and here you have to select the type as client callable flow object. So if you click on this, it will automatically get the operation executed, and it will be read only. So only one operation is supported over there, and you can give any name. So I will give sub flow figure. and you can simply save this out so once you save this this thing is done you can go back to the subflow and over here again you can go to the manage security over here where my bad it's over here manage security yeah so you have to click on that so if you Client callable, ACLs. What do you want to select? What was a subflow, right? A flow trigger. Done. Update. Now, particular thing. Okay. As soon as you do that, okay. And if you go here, and if you now come to the create code snippet for it, right? You will be seeing two options: server side and client side. So we are interested in client side. So we will be taking this copy code snippet to the clipboard. Perfect. now we will move to the incident all i will just do incident dot list and we will simply create your action from here only i just give you you can either you can create client script also based on your use case okay i am just creating a u action and i will give it a name as 
find manager find manager let's make it restrictive because it, <laughs> it's calling manager right whenever there is a manager thing it's always restrictive we'll make it client callable so client is there okay and we have to give on click on click word so we want to call a function called friend manager okay and then you can simply copy paste the code this one right but you have to replace it with this find manager right so you have to just remove it the self invoking ones you can simply put the find manager over here and over here also remove 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 done and one thing i've missed what kind of so we want it as a form button so i will just save this i have just saved it out right getting saved oh my bad there's a error because we want to pass the input right user id so it will be g underscore form because we want to pass a user right g underscore form dot get value get value of what we want caller underscore i'll just confirm it out because i don't remember whether it's caller id or not so we have saved it out we'll just go to the incident list just history where is that incidents we will look for incident created by able tutor only caller is able tutor i will just verify what is the technical name okay and it's caller id only okay i will just reload the form okay and we have a button called find manager i missed one more thing i didn't add alert i guess yeah so we'll go back to the ui action find manager my bad there's a script and here you can see the output message which we have given right manager alert message so we can simply alert it out so alert what manager alert message i'll update this out okay it return me to the table or to the form i'll just refresh it out if i click on find manager it should give me an alert see we got the alert stating over here that the manager is abraham linker right that's very validate it out also if the manager is abraham linker yeah the manager is abraham linker so this is how you can call the subflow from the client script when implementing this always consider security a okay ensure that only authorized users can trigger subflow and that all pa data passed to from the server is properly validated and sanitized okay this is one important thing you should always keep in mind and there you go you have it okay a straightforward guide to calling subflow from the client side in service now this technique will not only improve the responsiveness of your application but also help you to make a cleaner and more efficient code okay if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to technobong and click the bell icon so that you never miss out any latest service now tips and tricks on the channel okay drop a comment below if you have any other questions okay or if there is any other topic you would like me to cover till then happy development thank you